level one. I'm about to do my PS3 game collection. Um, I'm going to do a short review of them, um, and so this is only be about ten minutes long. Um, I will also do a another video if there are people who'd rather have a silent unbox um, 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 PS3 collections. Um, let's start. Spider-Man: Web of Shadows. Um, I like this game. I got it for Christmas about two or three years ago. Played it around Christmas. I completed it once, and I really never touched it afterwards. I've touched it a few times, but I went off it afterwards. iPad. Um, I don't like this game at all. I hate this game. Um, I got the eye with it though, so I don't really care that much. I touched it once, and then I never played on it again. Spider-Man Three. I um, got this game just after I got my PS3. It was the third game I got. Glad I got it. I had it for PS2, and I love it even more on PS3. I've only completed it tw twice though, so I haven't really got back into it. Operation Flashpoint. I looked, thought it would be really good. I was a, bit, a little bit disappointed. It was a little hard for me. Um, I haven't really touched it ever since I got stuck on a certain level. I was like level 3. Um, and it's not really my kind of game to be honest because I'm not a fan of first person shooters and I'm not very good at them so that's, that's a bit why I'm put off this game Star Wars Clone Wars Public Heroes um, I got this game for uh, Christmas ar around the same time I got with the Shadows um, I like this game, I've played it twice um, I am start I've started it again recently and hopefully I will complete it again um, it is a good game, I would recommend it if you're a Star Wars fan. Toy Story 3. I had sorry, I had to get this game. I love the films. Um I'm a big fan of Toy Story, even though even though I am 14. Um I love the game. And I think anyone who is into Toy Story, even into the films, I think you've got to get the game. I haven't completed it yet because I've got to like the last level and I just haven't got got back to playing it and I will definitely get to playing it even though I'm playing it in about a year. I will definitely go to play this game again. Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. I got my aunt got me this game just after my dad passed away. Um it's a really good game. Um and I always remember this game seeing as it was the game I was given, you know, for a bad circumstance. But it was a really it was a really good game. I I completed it twice or like I think I've completed it twice. I completed it on the two endings. There's two endings. It's a really good game. I played the first one, but I wasn't too fond of the first one. Um, and I didn't complete the first one. But this game, even if you didn't play the, um, even if you don't like the first one, this game is a lot better. Again, if you're a Star Wars fan, I would recommend it. Lego Harry Potter Years One to Four. I, I like this game. Um, it's not as good as the Lego Star Wars games. Um, but it is a good game. Not too great, not as good as I thought it would be, and I haven't played the years, what, um, years five to seven. But maybe one day I'll go back into it. I'm on like year three, I think. Killzone two. Um, it didn't really work for me. This game. I know a lot of people say how amazing this game is, and it didn't talk to me at all, really. So, to be honest, it was a complete waste of money for me. But the online was okay. But I can't really play anymore because there's no one online now. Killzone three is out. Revolution Soccer 2009. I used to like football, but now I'm into rugby, so I don't really play this anymore. However, I did like to be a pro season, so it's a lot better than the FIFA ones, but that's all I really played of it. I'm not too, a big fan of Urban uh, Revolution, but I got this because I got it and I got pre got two pre owned games um, from Blockbuster. And I got wanted one game, and this was just not the only game which was part of the offer. Same for two. I love this game. Um, it's a lot better than the third one in my opinion. Um, it's a great story. I played when I got it. I played it straight. It was my first online game. It is really good. I would recommend this to everyone who likes kind of the GTA kind of style games. You're quite a gangster. So if you like gangster games, like Bully and Thrones, that's your kind of game. Okay, so the third, I haven't completed it yet. I've got, got it for Christmas. It's not as good as the second one, um, but I will com definitely complete it. I'll get back into it eventually when I just when I feel like it. Brothers in Arms House Highway, um, really good game. I got this. I, I meant to, when I got my PS3, I was going to get it like three or four times before I eventually got it. Really glad I did. I love Brothers in Arms, and I can't wait for Furious Four, which comes out this year. Two Worlds Two. Hey, 
two of Wolves 2, one of my um how about two of two one of my favourite games. I well it's probably not really one of my favourite games, but it's a really good game. I would recommend it to all RPG fans. Um I got the Royal Edition as well. But this is a really good game, I completed it once and I will definitely play it again. I've had the time recently, I've only done about two weeks ago. P V ten, I suppose it's the same thing again with Pro Evolution. I used to like football, not too keen of it now. Um I don't really like the BF Pro season as much because I like it on Pro Evolution. However, I do like the manager mode and this game has really got me entertained. If I am ever into football, I will play this game because I don't I'm not gonna get any more keepers. Medal of Honor Limited Edition, uh, got this from Blockbuster for £20, it was a good deal. I prefer this to Card and Battlefield. I know a lot of people are going to probably you know, shout at me for this, but as I said, I am not a fan of um, I'm not a fan of first person shooters, so it is hard for me to like any of them, but this did, I did like this one quite a bit. You also get Medal of Honor Frontline on PS3, which, was, which I had on PS2. Sims 3. I'm a Sims fan, but I'm not. I'm not going to get Sims 3 pets unless I. I may change my mind, but so far I'm not going to get it. I really like this game. I still play it if I feel like it. I and it's really good. It's my favourite Sims game. Although a lot of people may not say that. Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I had both of these for the PS2. I loved. I loved Star Wars and. It just, I mean, I did get this one when I was a little younger, but still, I am really, I haven't really played this in like two years, but it's still a good game. Again, if you're a Star Wars fan, I recommend it. Dark Souls, really hard game. I got the limited edition. I haven't completed it yet, and I'm not, and I don't know if I will. It is a hard game, but it is my kind of game, so that might be a little easier for me. But again, I don't know if I can complete it. It's a, it's a quite, it's a really challenging game. It's the hardest game I've ever played. Um, I would recommend this game, however, if you do like RPGs and even if you don't, if you like RPGs alone, you just don't get it. Unless you are a really good player, and you really want to challenge because this is an amazing game for that. Dragon Age Origins. This is a really good game. I got for fourteen pound off Amazon um, about a year ago, about just over a year ago. I played it for the first time. I didn't like it that much. However, then about a month later, I, I decided to go back into it. Because it was near Christmas and there wasn't really anything I had at the time, so I got back into it and I loved it. And I played it for ages and ages. And so after that, I loved it. And even recently, I've been playing it. It's an amazing game. I'd recommend it to all RPG fans. And even though it may seem quite strange at first and confusing, just give it a chance. Look, look on the um, instruction manual because it's got really a lot of information in there. Brilliant story on that game as well. So many different endings. Dragon Age 2, not as good as um, Dragon Age Origins. The combat is a lot better because it's a lot faster and it may, and you are and I mean when I say fast, I mean really fast. Um, however, the story there wasn't really much of a story. It was just pretty much walking around, doing different different quests, and then every now and again there'd be a, a main quest kind of thing. It's not nowhere near as good as um, Dragon Age Origins. However, hopefully with Dragon Age 3, they will make it a lot better. Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, really good game. I got this is the game I got pre-owned with um, Pro Evolution because like, this is the game I wanted. Um, it's a really good game. I don't. This is the worst one I, in my opinion in the series, um, but it's still an amazing game and it is one of and it is my and this is my kind of game. But I'm not too fond of shooters, but it is still my kind of game. I recommend this to all PS3 fans. It's a must-have. Uncharted 3, Great Deception, uh, a lot better than the second one in my opinion, which I wish my brother had, but he traded it in because um, on his PS3. But this third one is my favourite in my opinion. A lot of people prefer number two, but I prefer this one. Really good game. I recommend it to, as I said, I recommend these games to all people who love PS3. Red of Redemption. I think everyone's played this game, but if you haven't, you should you have to get this game. One of the best games I've ever played, especially if you like Wild West games, you should already have it. Amazing story, and if you like GTA, as you can see, it's made by Rockstar. One of the best games I've ever played, you must have this game. Color Wars The Cartel wasn't what I thought it was, but it was better than what I thought it was. I thought it would be more like those kind of Red Dead Redemption or gun things. It wasn't that, but what it did give me was a really good story, a really good first person shooter game, my favourite first person shooter game. Well, not including that, not including the cartel, 
but these, this is my favourite first person series. A lot of people will be shocked at that, but I love these games. Call of Duty Cartel, a lot better than Bound and Blood in my opinion. Not as good a story, but gameplay is 10 times better than Bound and Blood. I, um, also, the main character called Grey, you can be uh, your, his, your, your related to the people on Call of Duty Bound and Blood. There's more characters to play as, and a lot more fun. I haven't really got into finishing this game though. Yeah. Well, I have finished it, but I haven't got into completing all the characters. All I pray. Amazing game. I played it. My brother's friend gave, let, lent it me to play on. I played on it for about an hour and I just couldn't stand the game. So, but anyway, then I saw it in the shop for like about ten pounds, and I just thought, yeah, may as well because it's by the same my favorite company, the Pepper Software. So I just thought, yeah, I'll buy it. I played it and I got it more. I got to play it a bit more and I loved it. Amazing story. You've got to get this game. I would recommend this to all. Yes, three fans. And if you are third person shooter like um favorite, if third person shooter, oh, sorry, if third person shooter is your favorite, you can get this. And if first person shooter is your are your favorite, you can get it because this provides third and first person shooting. All out in Vegas, not as good as the third one, and it's and it's not. It's just really because the story is as good, the gameplay is near enough the same. Not much to say about New Vegas, I'm afraid. Harry Potter, Harper Prince, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. This is my favourite game on the PS3. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you should get this game. Um, and that's really not all to say. If you've seen the film, you'll know what it's about. You can't really say much about these games. Half the Prince, um, yeah, part one. No, Half the Prince, definitely Hallows part one. Sorry about that. Nowhere near as good as I thought it would be. It looked amazing. The trailer looked, made it look amazing. The case looks amazing. The back looks amazing. However, it's not amazing. It's terrible. It is the worst Harry Potter game I've ever played. Even if you're a Harry Potter fan, you won't like this game. And if you do, you're on drugs. I mean, seriously, no one can like this game. It's terrible. I did complete it, but I'm not playing it again. So I'm not really going to get too good for that. But yeah, I might have a hobby just to be a Harry Potter fan. Harry Potter definitely has part two. I didn't know if I'd get this game at first because, of course, I didn't like part one. But I got it because it was cheap in the shop, and my mum says, I'll, I'll let you have it. So I got it. Uh, and I played it and I loved it. This is a lot better than the first part. I mean, if you didn't like the first part, you didn't get the second part. Because you didn't like the first part, then just don't believe that. It is an amazing game. It is not my favorite Harry Potter game, um, but it is an amazing Harry Potter game. You're, you're barely Harry Potter as well, which is good. You get to play as Neville, Hermione, everything. Assassin's Creed. I got this after I got Assassin's Creed 2, um, which is, you might be told, because it's platinum. Um, it's a really good game. It is not as good as I thought it'd be after I played it because Assassin's Creed 2. It doesn't have any cutscenes. It's a little bit re it's a little repetitive, um, and it's just really the same overall thing all the way through. The only thing that's interesting to me is the start and the end. Um, I think I'm gonna that's gonna be um, part one of my uh, PS3 game collection. Uh, stick around for part two. I didn't think I'd have to put this into, into um, two parts, but I'm guessing I'm going to have to. So, see you guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and look up for part two.